Hello everybody and welcome to my third intermediate tutorial and the next few tutorials are going to go into quite an interesting topic for a lot of people and that is how to create graphs in Excel. Uh, it's one of the more used function uh, features. So I'm going to start off by just showing you how to create a really simple graph. So all we're going to do is just map the months against the counts that we've got here. Um, so, and that if you're not sure how to do this, then watch the first tutorial, uh, first intermediate tutorial, and it'll show you how. Um, so, all we need to do is just highlight our data that we want to make a graph from, and then click on this tool up here, Chart Wizard, and this will come up with the Chart Wizard as such. And you get to create your different chart types and each chart type you'll see has a variety of different types mostly aesthetic but there are slight differences which I'll show you in a bit um, but the type we want to use first of all is just the simplest column uh, chart press and hold to view sample and it will just give you a little uh, glimpse of what your graph is going to look like um, so I'm happy with that so I'll click next and then this asks us for where the data range is. So you can either do what I've done and select it beforehand, or you can click on this afterwards uh, and you can just define it with, as whatever you want. Um, and you can either do it by rows or by columns. So if we're doing it by rows, then it's actually going to go okay my 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 data is going across this way uh, and not my uh, data is going down this way so if you look at it this is going column one so that's my field here and then all of my series are going to be the names of the months down here Whereas if we put columns, it goes series one, okay, there's only one column, so that's the only series, and then all the months along the bottom. And you could also click in series, and you can add multiple series. So this isn't going to really uh, be relevant with the numbers over here, so I'm going to just steal the numbers over here just to show you. So if we add another series, I then take the uh, the values of it. Let's go back to our sheet and let's just select down here and go back. And then you'll see that I've now got two series. Uh, the first one based off of these numbers and the second one based off of these numbers. Now these numbers are a lot bigger, which is why it's making it so that you can barely even see the smaller ones so let's decide we don't want that one and then just remove it and then you can also define a name for the series so rather having series one I want to put count um, so that's going to put a count there alternatively you can just write in the name of the series and that will have exactly the same effect only if you do it this way if you change the name on the sheet then you change the name on the on the, on the graph, uh, the other thing you can change is the category labels. This has already got it set up for us, so um, it's got it as E3 to E14. So that's literally just the months here. Um, if we wanted, we could switch it to a different one quite easily um, but this is what I want, I want the months so I'll leave that as it is click next you've then got a choice of adding various titles so let's put count graph and then category of the x-axis is months and value of the y-axis is count and then your axis, uh, you can uh, untick them and tick them in order to 
get rid of the various axes. Um, it's up to you. If you don't really want to label it, then you don't have to. Uh, generally, though, it, it's, it's better to do that. Uh, grid lines, you can add on a variety of different grid lines in both directions. Um, legends, that's this here. So you can have it showing, you can have it not showing, you can put it at any side. Um, and data labels, this is going to apply labels to the actual columns themselves. So you can put the category on there go into access and then take your access off and then they're still labeling them it's just doing them in a different place um, you can put the value of them on there and you can also choose the separator which just show, separates changes how the different ones you've you've put on here are shown um, and you can also add a little data table at the bottom I, I generally don't because you've generally got your data table over here anyway but if you want to then no reason not to um, and then next and you get the choice of either doing it as an object in uh, in, in within the sheet or as a new sheet so I'm going to choose um, as a new sheet and you can't click next anymore you have to click finish and there we go well, that's my graph made and then that's ready then to do whatever you want with. Um, you can copy and paste it into your PowerPoint presentations, into emails, you can keep it in the in the Excel spreadsheet. The best part is is if you change any of the values here, so let's say we make a couple of the, the January zero um, or in fact that's delete them completely, make them August, so that gets rid of our count for January, puts it up for August, uh, and you'll notice that August is shot up and January is shot down. Um, within the actual graph itself, you can edit the various points here, so you can click on the plot area, uh, I normally like to change it to white, because uh, I don't really like the grey, you can change the default colors of the um, of the different series. You can go into an individual point and you can change just one point. So if there's one that you want to particularly point out because it's uh, particularly key. Let's see just how much time I've got left. So, um, so you can highlight them. You can in fact go into chart options and you can bring all of your options back up again and change any of them so I can go actually I don't really want the x-axis let's get rid of that um, and I don't want this so let's get rid of this uh, actually I do want this let's go back into the chart options and put the legend uh, key back on um, really I want it on the right so you've got a lot of control um, and once you've set one up, you can get it feeding through quite happily. So, in the next couple of tutorials, I'll show you how to do different types of graphs uh, and the best way to use them. So, thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.